This is Mark Potter in Pensacola Beach, Florida, where at first light today, work crews were already picking up tar balls, while others stretched out booms along Pensacola Bay. This after officials and residents here complained loudly that BP's cleanup and compensation plans aren't nearly enough. You can't pay for this. There's no amount of money that can correct the situation. That's it. That's it right there. Typical stuff right there. That's it. Bill McCollum, Florida's attorney general, is bristling at BP's announcement it will take another two weeks to bring in skimmer boats to patrol and clean the inshore waters here. How can you imagine not having skimmers on the way? Knowing you got this mess going on in Louisiana and in Alabama and it's coming to Florida, you're gonna you can't pull boats away from wherever they're skimming. You need to add more to them. Today's local newspaper headline reflected the frustration here. And over the weekend, protesters gathered outside a BP gas station. Singer Jimmy Buffett, who's opening a new hotel on Pensacola Beach, is also concerned. We've got to deal with the, the problem today, but everybody should keep in mind, we're using this oil, we're all guilty. I'm as guilty as anybody else. We're collecting just about a foot beneath the surface. To see if oil in the surf now poses a health threat, Scientists from the University of West Florida took samples today at five locations. County officials will use the test results to decide whether to close the beaches to swimming. Now tonight the beaches here are still open and Florida officials hope they can keep them that way. In this state where tourism is a $60 billion a year industry. Brian? Mark Potter, part of our team of correspondents in the Gulf on this story. Mark, thanks.